Jesus Christ, what have we just seen? Manchester United losing 1-0 to Aston Villa at Old Trafford. Aston Villa absolutely deserved those three points, deserved that win. Man United deserved to lose our third loss in four games. Young boys, West Ham, both in the cup games. But here in the Premier League where it matters, Manchester United failed. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer failed. The players failed. That game there, it's, it's, it's hard to exaggerate how abysmal that game was. The first 30 minutes, we were in control of it. We were creating-ish half chances. We were doing nothing, really. It was like West Ham all over again. We weren't threatening despite having 11 shots. We got one on target. Came out in the second half. Villa were all over us. We were camped in our own half for the first 15 minutes of that second half. And then it got worse. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer failed to change that game early enough. Cavani coming on from McTominay and putting Paul Pogba back was the right substitution to make. But he made it 15 minutes too late. And you knew that something could happen. And it fucking came from a corner. Aston Villa headed it in. 1-0 in the 80 what? Eighth minute. And then we go and get a penalty. And Bruno Fernandes, did he change his run-up? He changed everything. He just decided to send the ball to Mars. Man United collapsing. To an atrocious, abysmal 1-0 defeat there to Aston Villa. And it's very hard for me to find any sort of positives from that game. You know what I am as a person. You know, I'll try to find the positives where I can. Even I can't fucking spin that. What's your reaction to that in the comments below? Fernandez, man, what was that penalty? But don't try and blame all this on Fernandez there, given that he created like four, five, six chances. Solskjaer, what are you doing? What are you doing? I think the first 60 minutes, at least the first half, you can you can point towards the players being at fault. We made loads of chances. We made everything. We just weren't clinical enough in front of goal. Ronaldo was dropping so deep because he had no service. But then we came out in that second half. and 15 minutes, we were camped in our own half. Villa were all over us. Solskjaer, why are you not changing it at that point? Why can you not see? Or you can see, but you're just too stubborn to see. This is why people have an issue with you. It's because you don't change the game when you can see the game isn't working. That is a goddamn problem. And now we've lost to Young Boys, we've lost to West Ham, and we've lost here to Villa. Young Boys, West Ham and fucking Villa, you kidding me? Title contenders. Jesus, no chance. Not when you're dropping points to Villa at home on a weekend where City are beating Chelsea and we're supposed to be title contenders. Cool, you go and make points on Chelsea. Hell no, you just go and lose at home to Aston Villa. Instead, no offence to Villa, cool, they won against 3-0 against Everton, but that's Everton. This is United, Ronaldo, Pogba, Greenwood, Bruno, and we got pumped. We didn't just get beaten there. It was a clear, deserved victory, and if Manchester United and Bruno Fernandes had scored that penalty towards the end, it would have been us nicking a point against Aston Villa at Old Trafford. It's not on. It's not on. I said going into this game that we had to come out strong. We had to show by example of what we want this United team to be seen as. And we were like that, but we just weren't clinical enough. We weren't creating enough actual proper chances. 11 shots is just stat padding. So many of them were probably blocked. Solskjaer, man, I'm supporting you. I'm trying to support you. But what the fuck are you doing? Not changing that game there when it needed to be changed. Of course, you can point towards the fact that Maguire and Shaw both had to go off with injuries. So we only have one substitution to change the game. Couldn't bring on Sancho and Cavani. Could only bring Cavani on. Cool. I Yeah, fair enough. But bring him on earlier. Bring him on earlier. Drop Pob Badipa. McTominay had a poor game. Fred, it's not fashionable. I thought he played quite well. Out of possession. Lots of tackling. In possession, shit. We needed someone deeper to control the midfield and actually dictate a little bit. Oh, man, it's just all over shit. And I'm sorry I'm swearing so much in this one. It's just all over abysmal, that game. That result... That performance, the toxicity that now is going to come in. But it's reaching the point now with three losses in four games. That's when momentum starts to build. And I've said it all along. I've been defending Solskjaer this week saying, look, we're joint top of the Premier League. We scored more goals than anybody in the league. That's now shifted. That safety net has been swooped away from Ole Gunnar Solskjaer because the same mistakes happened again that we've seen, we've seen before. And so many people rightly question Solskjaer's ability or inability to accurately and correctly change a game with his in-game management and substitutions. As I said, 
having two subs taken away from injury, that sucks. But we still have one sub that we could have made 15 minutes earlier and it would have made a difference. Instead, Cavani had to wait until the 82nd minute to come on when Villa were piling the pressure on and we just couldn't cope with it. Jesus Christ, that was a, sh that was a really shit game. There's no real positives you can get from that and the, the Oli out campaign is going to gather momentum. I don't agree with it. I'm going to do a video on it next week after all of this because it's going to be a horrendous weekend now as a Manchester United fan. The early kickoff on Saturday should have been lovely. Set me up for a cracking weekend. Ryder Cup, drinks, Joshua Usyk, lovely jubbly. Instead, I'm just going to be pissed off, replying to people on Twitter, replying to people on Facebook about Solskjaer. And I can't defend that performance from him. I can't defend that performance from the players. Both Solskjaer and the players all at fault for an abject failure, complete and utter failure at Old Trafford. And I don't really know what comes next. We've got Villarreal in a few days in the Champions League. And after losing to Young Boys, we need to get a result. We bounce back from Young Boys to beat West Ham with the 88th minute winner from Lingard and a De Gea penalty save. This time around, we went down to an 88th minute loser and a 94th minute penalty miss. Talk about contrasting moments. And it's, if, if we had got the draw there, it would have been down to the individual moment from Fernandez. But even he looked Oli out by sending that ball to fucking Rosie. What, Zed? Well, I don't care. What's he doing? Fernandez, that's not your run up. That's not your sort of penalty. Where was the hop? Hop it in, man. Instead, he just put his foot through it and tried to kill the ball. Shit. I'm not sure what is going to be the, the overall reaction fallout to that, but that was an utter, utter failure from every single person inside that team. Collectively, we were just abysmal. We couldn't play through the midfield. The defence was shaky. Maguire, looking very sloppy at the start of this season. He went off with an injury. De Gea, even he was making poor mistakes and sort of fobbing it off elsewhere. I don't get it. I don't get it. I do not get it. It's the... The swings, the swings are so huge in this United team. When we play good, we're great. When we play crap, we are conference league. We are crap when we play like that. And the swings are what makes it difficult for United fans to, to stay away from the swings in momentum that happen with the support every single week. Because after that, that's going to be really hard for anybody to defend. There were huge problems, huge failures from all the players from Solskjaer. You need to change that game. You saw that it wasn't working. Villa came out and dominated us at Old Trafford, man. Come on. First 15 minutes, we were camped in our own box. It was at that point we, we should have changed the game. Straight away. Boom. 65 minutes. Switch it. Bring Pogba deeper. Put Cavani on or Sancho on. Switch it up. Ronaldo was getting starved of service. We needed it early. We had that 25 minutes, half an hour. We could have won that game. Instead, we're now pissed off, losing 1-0 to Aston Villa at home. The pressure's going to get cranked up on Solskjaer, cranked up on the players. And I don't know what the next step is. That's my reaction to the game. And I'm not sure if you can tell, but I'm pretty pissed off. I'm really, really pissed off. And as I said, that safety net of being joint top of the Premier League now and top scorer, woof, that's gone from Solskjaer. That's not there anymore. We've got a great squad of players. There's no excuses to be playing like that and no excuses to be losing 1-0 to Villa at Old Trafford. End of discussion. 